guys, the faceless bean is back. Now I'm going to do um, a video on how you can get better at fishing in Warframe. And a lot of the things that I will cover in this video are things that may seem basic, they may seem common sense, but a lot of people may overlook them. A lot of people may, you know, overlook the advantages of using bait, overlook the advantages of using dye, right? And so I'm just going to go through some really simple tips on how you can get better performance out of your time while you fish in the plains of Eidolon and just generally have more fun with it. So I hope this really helps you out. Let's get into it. Tip number one, listen for the bubbling sounds when you are near a lake or a river. That always signals that a fish is nearby. It puts you on high alert. To make it easier for you to listen to these sounds, Make sure that your music volume is set all the way down to zero, all right? That's the first thing you want to do, all right? And as so, you go to the lake. I just heard some bubbling sounds. There we go. As they get more prominent, that means the fish is nearer. And there we go, right on my left. All right, very simple. Tip number two, you want to look for the best locations possible. So do your research. Uh, I, have a, I have a video linked in the description where I show what is, in my opinion, the best fishing spot in Warframe, which is the one that I'm standing at right now. So you'll see there's already a lot of fish around me, a lot of big ones. Let's catch this one. All right. And, you know, you want to make sure that you spend your time at fishing spots that are the most beneficial for you, right? I, re I really recommend this one, but I have linked uh, a video showing the best spot and also a link to a Reddit post of someone who actually posted a full map of what each fishing spot in the Plains of Eidolon gives you. So refer to the description for that one, and let's get on to the next one. Tip number three involves investing your Ostron standing in better spears. You're going to start off with a Lanzo, you're going to unlock the two lock, and we're going to go further that, further down. But I recommend at the very least, you should use a two lock. Reason being is that a two lock can puncture armored plates and carapaces. And that becomes very important because I see so many people saying this. I hit a fish and it did zero damage and it ran away. That's because you hit it with a Lanzo spear and you hit its armor. You need to penetrate that and a two-lock spear will help you do that. It will not do it as well as the more advanced spears, but it is good enough to get you off to a great start and I would really recommend getting a two-lock fishing spear. All right, and another one is that you just cannot forget your war frames. Um Warframes like Walt and the one I'm using right now, Frost Prime, have abilities that actually make it easier to fish. So like now it's night time and it can be hard to see the fish. But when you open up, this, you use the third ability, look how easy it is to see the fish at night. Right? When you use uh, Frost Prime's third ability, you make the snow globe. When the fish come into it, it's so easy to see them and it can save you a lot of time. Alright? Uh, Walt is another one that has a passive ability that makes it much easier to fish. So don't ignore your Warframes. I've also heard that Ivara helps you out. Alright, so test them out. And they all can make fishing a much more enjoyable experience for you. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, and this tip is going to seem pretty obvious. Um, but some people are reluctant to use Luminous Dye at night. And I'm going to show you the effect of it. Uh, it can make fishing at night so much easier. All right, so you want to equip your fishing spear, press Q, use luminous dye, and look at that. The fish lights up in the water, right? Next, make sure there are no enemies nearby when you're fishing. All right, as you'll see here, I could just chill here for ages. Right, I could chill here for absolutely ages, and I'm not going to catch a fish. You know why? Because up there, there's this dude trying to kill me. So, I have to get rid of him first, and then um, I go back there and catch my fish, right? Like you see, there's more enemies, so you need to kill them all, right? Make sure they're all dead, and then continue fishing, right? It's going to make it much, much easier. 
well, well, not much easier. It's going to make it possible because it's next to impossible to find any fish when there are guys attacking you. So like, I go to the water now, right? And immediately I hear bubbling sounds. So there should be a fish nearby. There's one right here. There we go. Next, one of the more obvious tips on this list, use bait. Uh, however, my recommendation is to only use peppered bait because peppered bait is not specialized. It's not going to get you predatory uh, fish. It's not going to get you, you know, the smaller or the bigger fish. It's going to get you all the fish, all right, because it's the basic bait, and that's all that you should need. All right, and lastly, to wrap it all up, you have got to be patient. Fishing is a waiting man's game. So if you want things in a hurry, maybe you should do something else. All right, allocate an amount of time to spend just to fish. And with patience, you're going to reap the benefits. I hope you guys have fun. I hope this helped you out. The Faceless Beanie signing out.